we think that it's very crucial on the individual level, um, as the like of each one of us as the ultimate goal to basically be satisfied, to feel satisfied during the life, and um, we feel that it really affects the global level as well, how it's on the individual level. So if everybody feels the satisfaction, there are basically no issues. So it like basically comes to the peace. And but where we feel there is like big clash is on social level. And there's the difference between collectivism and uh, individualism, which arises from different countries and also in our discussion it was visible. Uh, so the first one, the individualism, we tend to think we as, for example, also Slovakia, we tend to think more about our own happiness um, and what benefits us and not uh, about the group in, uh, in which we are. Or even when we interact with the group, we always think about our own happiness and how we can uh, benefit. So, and in the collectivism, I think they um, mostly think about the group as such and the happiness of, of them all, not their own. So that's the things that we came to in our discussion. Thank you. Any, uh, any questions? Time for at least one. Perfect. Hello. Okay. Do you think there's a danger with freedom of expression and if so, how would you deal with a danger like that? So, for example, with the recent attack that happened in New Zealand, before the shooter went and committed the atrocities that he did, he was posting all these things online about um, the like just hateful comments and hateful things that he was posting online, but those were his rights to expression. So is that dangerous? Would you protect against that? Or is that his right to continue? Okay. Uh, well, we decided to choose freedom of expression as a value, not necessarily freedom of speech, as we feel it's a part of it, but uh, for example, what we focused on was the clothing and language. And uh, I think freedom of speech is important, but it should have some rules. Like, for example, in the essays we received, uh, there were the rules of don't shout fire in an open uh, space and stuff like this. So uh, I feel like uh, people shouldn't spread like fake information for example, which is a huge problem in today's society. So uh, there there are some problems, but uh, limiting uh, freedom of speech, we have experienced it uh, during socialism in our country, and it uh, wasn't very beneficial. So the limits would have to be uh, very like revised and uh, very clear, and not limiting anyone's uh, freedom just so they don't offend other people. Answer the question that to what extent does the importance of values differ at the individual, social, and global level? And we mix the individual and social levels up. And also, um, we answer this question um, for the service and function of the values. And so, first, for individual and social values, we um, it served as the values gave, gave the individual happiness and also for social for social level it gives the social uh, well-being and um, it can serve the function that uh, we, we share the value and uh, we can get the agreement in this social social level also for the individual social value it's a way that people to express their value to the society that program um, that program to become the distinctive personality they use different way to express their value to the society and for 
our inheritance, it means that um, value escapers um, did things to inherit inherit to the next generation, and also it gave us a, a distinctive distinctive identity. Also, the culture aim is to bring people together. The culture is the formation of the society. Also, the culture is a group of people. So the individual social value, the aim is to bring the whole community, the every people, to, get, to become together. Also, when the globalization happened, different country and different society want to find some way to become to global to communication, to have some communication. So they find some same points in their individual social values. They come up with some shared values. So for global level, um, we aim to make peace and prosperity and harmony. So um, if we have the shared values, so we can get the agreement and to be peace and prosperity. And also, uh, the very important thing is that if there is no others, then we, it, the societies and the global levels is key else. So um, the values established the others and uh, gave the um, shared laws and in the international, in international level. So uh, we think that the most important thing is it is published others. <laughs> It's an audio document, so it doesn't work with the presentation. It's not visible. Mm -hmm. <coughs> we can perhaps insert it to a presentation. Sorry. Well, uh, good evening. 
Uh, we're going to start uh, answering our question and making a difference between the important values that are in the individual, social, and global uh, way. So in the individual, we thought that the values are going to be more important are those that are linked to our personal needs, what we personally think that's more important for us. Maybe uh, for me it's more important value of respect or tolerance, but for each one of you it could be really different. Uh, by the social uh, group, group uh, we think that the values that's going to be more important is those that are connected with the culture of that social group. So um, the most important values in each social will be one that related to the culture and those that pre uh, prevail would be the, those ones. So maybe if in your culture uh, the old people is really important, so values like respect will be important for uh, your social group. And in the global way, we think that the values are going to prevail and are those ones who talk about the global needs that we have. So maybe uh, preserving the environment, the peace, the tolerance, that are needs that our world has, is going to be the values that would be more important. But what do we all have in common? So we all have dreams, we all have these worries about the environmental issues, we all share these values about tolerance, respect, and empathy. And we all are in the search of happiness, the things that we have just started like in the previous exercise. So we think that the values come from like this desire and like this instinct to take care of ourselves and to survive. That's why we all know that it's not quite to attempt against like the integrity of everyone. I mean, we it's, we know that it's not a right to like be walking and killing everyone. You know what I mean? And you know, we all share this value because we are human beings. All of us, like our citizens of the world, we are not like that different as we think. So, for example, I have seen that the Colombian and the Indian culture is like very similar. So, for example, uh, Mumbai is very similar to like these tiny little towns or cities that has hot weather. Um, like geographically, we are like very, uh, like in a very similar, similar spot, like taking into account of the cultural <coughs> line. And I can say that like a little bit of the accent is similar. And something very important is the diversity. Colombia is a very diverse country, like in every way. We, we have like many cultures in just one, but here I know that there's like a lot of religions and something important that Colombia and India should is that they respect like the difference between everything. So that's like just a few examples of all of like all of the things that we have in common between every culture. Thank you. Questions? Thank you for your presentation. I, according to you, how far do you think an individual value can be protected in this world of globalization? Well, can you please repeat that? How far an individual value can be protected in this era of globalization? Well, I think that our individual values I think that our individual values uh, are even more in common with the global values. So, um, like in this conversation, in this modern world that we are living, even more your personal values can be protected by the global values because we are going to the same cause. That answer. Minutes literally for a little break, Chapman break. At uh, three o'clock, we'll begin the first of three personal project presentations. Well done, thanks so much. See you back here just before the group.
It's actually not with kinds of diamond. Only open. When you want to see the building any so when I I know. I'm, I'm, I'm carrying on that. I'm playing around. <laughs> Looking forward. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a reply. I want to build wall. Maybe. Can we give them out to everybody? Yeah. That's our gift to everybody. That's your bad. would. How are you feeling? I heard you had a better feeling. Yeah, I'm feeling better. My stomach's a little bit upset. So I'm just sort of eating plain your kids. The good thing about reactions that after it is a little worried the delayed reaction, but after around 24 hours. <laughs> And uh, safety issues, kind of oversight. Yeah, that was the school for no, yeah, yeah, I told him what happened. Yeah, does happen. Something does happen. Yeah. 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 She moved when she was four years old. But my, my grandfather. <laughs>
ऐसे कैसे घूम गया Dim the lights. Okay. 